What are other people doing that are successful? How can we do it? One of the biggest things when we talk about CFO services, I want you to go to this book on page eight. This is the green book, is goal setting. Uh, when it comes to CFO services, one of the biggest things is, and this is, this is hard for people to understand, but I never want, I never want a goal that is lower than your capacity. Talked to a guy yesterday, Andrew, I did $496,000 in sales in 2018. I said, dude, you should have called me. I'd have given you the five grand. What the hell? <laughs> and he said, well, what would I have done for you, accounting? I said, dude, I don't even care. You should have just called me. I'd have just given you the five grand. Right? You've got to hit that number. Okay? Now, I, now, that's not why I tell you the story, though. I tell you the story because I asked him, I said, dude, but honestly, I know I'm joking a little bit, but you hit 496. I said, what's your goal for 2019? He said, well, I, I really want to do the 500,000. <laughs> I said, what in the hell, right? That is completely, I said, dude, thank God you're on this call today, right? Because I swear, what your concept is of what you're capable of between the beginning of this call and the end of this call is about to change big time. Because that was some bullshit, right? I did 496, and next year I'm going to do 500. Wow, that's some bad thinking, right? So, and I, so I asked him, I said, all right, well, he's doing CFO services. He's actually on the live stream right now. And I said, okay, so, well, all of 2019, you know, I know beginning of this call, you want to do 500. How many clients could you onboard a month? You've got a team. He's, you know, you've already got a couple people working with you. Too many, but you've got a couple people working with you. How many clients could you onboard a month at 1,000 a month or more? And he said, well, I've got to think about this, da, 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 da. calculating his head, he's got the staff, okay, I've got this other thing, well, it is tax season, okay, okay, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe two clients a month, right, which is a problem, and we'll talk about capacity this weekend, two clients a month, right, <laughs> two clients, now, and I asked him, I said, at a thousand a month or more, right, so, and I didn't specify what particular levels of service, what the scope is going to be, what the price is going to be, and we'll, we're going to talk about all that this weekend, but I just don't think about mechanics yet, right? Don't think about all the bullshit and the mechanics and the hiring and the onboarding, all that. We're going to get there, right? But like right now, I want to focus on the big picture. And he kept on doing that. He kept on saying, going back to the details, because, I mean, I'm an accountant too, so I get addicted to those freaking details and the mechanics and everything, but when you're thinking about sales and you're thinking about the long term and growing the business, you've got to be careful not to do that too much. So 24 clients over the course of the year. Okay, so at 1,000 a month a pop, right, that would basically have, if, if we add those two, just two a month, that would increase our monthly recurring revenue by 2,000 a month over the course of that period. I'm going to have you guys walk through this math for yourself in a second, but I just want to illustrate this point. So that's $24,000 a month times, let's say, the 12 months, 24K, if, let's say he gets there by the end of December. And by the way, you're never going to get to this exact number. This is a thought exercise. Of course, somebody's going to be at 750. Somebody's going to be at four grand, right? Okay, who cares, right? Like that, it's going to change, but let's just put this down and think about it. That equals uh, really almost 300,000. Almost 300,000. Now, this particular individual also 300,000 annual recurring revenue, right? So by the end of the year, by December 2019. This particular individual also was offering tax planning. He's also offering tax prep for the business returns and the individual returns. And I think when we added all that up, it ended up being something like, I think it was 568,000 based on his pricing, his averages. Additional, right? So he did 490, uh, 496,000 in 2018. And if he did nothing other than just add clients with his capacity, then he would double the business on, a, on an annual basis by the end of the year. And for the life of me, I can't understand why you would have a goal that would be less than your capacity. And honestly, think about it. Let's say six months through the year, he keeps up pace on this. You think he's going to be able to hire somebody else, which is then going to further grow his capacity? Maybe he can get to one a week. Maybe he can get to three a month, right? So maybe he has the capacity to do more than this. But the goal should never be less than the capacity. And I said, dude, 
And I've used this analogy before. Some of you guys might have heard this. I said, dude, let's imagine you're in Miami right now and you want to go to Atlanta, right? So you get in the car, you start planning out to Atlanta. I got this car, I got this much gas. I'm going to stop for lunch right here. I'm going to take a tinkle at this rest stop, right? Okay, so you're making a plan to go to Atlanta. It's very unlikely that you're going to end up in Salt Lake City. <laughs> it ain't going to happen. Because then you're like, okay, if I go to Salt Lake City, I'm going to need this much gas. I'm going to need to stay. I, I have driven from Miami to Salt Lake City. I did that back in the day when I was poor. I was like, I'm going to save money on flights. Amanda and I got trapped in Kansas. We stayed at this shitty hotel. And, you know, it was snowing. They closed all the roads. We were going there for snowboarding over the, the winter. It's a terrible idea. So really, if you think about driving to Salt Lake City from Miami, you're like, well, why don't we just fly? Right? So you change your whole thinking. So the point is, is between the beginning of this call and the end of this call, this guy literally had gone from thinking, wow, I'm going to do 496 to 500,000, to saying, could I add an extra 500,000 a year just based on my capacity? <laughs>